it's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide. Just wanted to come to you with a video to show you about setting up your schedule for a new provider, adding chairs, how the chairs open and close based on provider hours. I think it's, it gets really confusing with um, a lot of offices who, when they set up the providers, connected a provider to all chairs. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a new provider that I've added. So here's my new provider that I added into Donna's, who's gonna now be adding a chair. We're gonna add a, a chair in the system for this doctor. So I'm gonna go to their hours. All right, and here's the chair assignments. You can see I have chairs here, but I don't have a chair for this doctor. So I'm gonna add a chair. So I'm gonna go to my chair locations. Here's all my chairs. All right, these are the columns that are in the schedule. I'm going to do a new one and I'm going to call this my Indo chair just so we're clear on this is a very specific chair for this particular doctor. So there's the chair. I'm going to assign that chair to that doctor. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say this doctor only works just so I can show you guys how it actually opens and closes on the schedule. He only works from eight till noon on a Sunday. All right. So I'm gonna save this and close it. Notice one thing, I did not assign the hours to that chair yet. So he has a chair, but it hasn't been assigned. So I wanna show you what happens. So I'm gonna close out, I'm gonna open up my day. Okay, notice there is no chair showing. All right, I've added the chair, you guys saw me add the chair, but it's not showing on my schedule yet. So I'm going to right click, Go to my current settings and my setup. And right now I'm showing eight chairs, but I have nine. So I'm gonna add that ninth chair to show. Okay. Notice it's not showing, although I added it. So let's do this. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna move, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show the chair endo. So there's my endo chair. Notice it's still closed. So. I don't want it there. I actually want it in my first column. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move the chair to position one. There it is. So now I have my chair in position one and I'm showing my nine chairs across. All right, actually it's still not showing. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually I have 10 chairs showing. So let me go back to my current setting and set up and go back to I want to make sure I show all my chairs. Got it? So for the sake of it, I'm going to save my view just so I can have it. Now I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back to my list. I'm going to go to my providers and staff. I'm going to go to my new provider and I'm going to go to his hours. And you can see that there's Sunday. He has hours. So I'm going to apply that select all, save, and now that provider should have hours on Sunday. Let's open up our schedule. Notice it's still closed because today is Wednesday, but let's go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Notice how it's open now? Because his hours are eight to noon on Sunday only. You can see he's closed every other day. All right. So let's try again. Let's say he is only going to work every other Sunday. Let's go back to providers and staff. Let's go to his doctor. Let's edit him. Let's go into his hours. All right. There are his hours. He only works out of that endo chair. We're going to go to custom hours and we're going to say new custom hours for this doctor. And we're going to say every, now let's, let's make this funny every third nah let's do it every, every other sunday all right so every other sunday we're going to do this weekly every two weeks on sunday all right he's going to be out so we gave him hours we're going to say every other sunday and it's not for all chairs it's only for that endo chair because that's the only one he works at so weekly, every two weeks on Sunday, and we're gonna start that 
this week. And we're going to say there's no end date because he's always going to do it that way. So every other Sunday, he's going to be out of the office in the endo chair just for him every two weeks on Sunday. Very specific. Save it. Close it. Close it. Let's go back to our schedule. And let's go to Sunday. You can see it's closed. We'll go a week forward. He's open. Go another week. He's closed. Another week. Open. So we did every other Sunday just for that doctor. And notice that it's not effect impacting any other person in the schedule. It's just for that provider for that time. Now, I'll show you what typically happens. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go back to my provider. And what typically happens, and I see this all the time, is doctors get assigned to hygiene chairs. So I'm just going to assign to Annie's chair. And then what's going to happen is Annie's chair is going to be impacted by this doctor's hours. So you never want to connect a provider to a chair or a column that they don't work in. Same thing. You don't want a, a hygienist. You don't want any provider to be in a chair that they don't want to, that they don't work out of. So make sure that you don't assign any provider to any chair other than the ones they work out of. And that's how you control your schedule. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.